it's your boy Billy Freckles here just in time for the Friday morning just after Thursday afternoon podcast just checking in on ya you can tell when I've listened to Bill Burr's podcast anyway it is Friday day we switched to Airbnbs this morning uh, I got some pho for lunch and now we're uh, walking to the gym and uh, gonna get a little workout in and then, um, yeah, tonight we're planning on uh, checking out some frog nightlife, so it should be good. So stay tuned for the end of that one. So i uh, see you there. You know when you finish a workout and you just feel great? That's right now. So official review of Euphoria Gym in Prague. I rate it great. And to cap off the greatness, the Wi-Fi is 25 by 25, so great upload speed for video people. I love that they play intense music. And I love that they have the CrossFit style gym in the basement. And that you can go day by day, only five bucks. I love it. Now everyone knows all everyone wants is just to have a balanced life. Work-life balance, relationship, money balance. It's all about balance, right? And fitness slash health slash staying in shape is a huge part of that. And if it seems like we work out a lot or every day while we travel, let me just put out there that it wasn't always like that. It's still a struggle to work out when you're traveling a lot or backpacking or suitcasing. And by the way, if you haven't seen my Airbnb workout slash hotel workout slash 300 workout video, the link will be in the description. If it's not, remind me in the comments. So huge tip if you're struggling to work out, basically it comes down to accountability. Me and Parker and Danny work out when we're with each other because we keep each other accountable to just make it happen once per day. And of course, there's gonna be those day off, days off, but pretty much once per day. And back home, when we are living apartment life, let me just say that I was out of shape, I was pale, not fit like I am now, out of shape. And getting off of work every day, I struggled to go to the gym. I remember getting off at work, you know, in the evening, and you don't wanna, I don't wanna go to LA Fitness to just fuck around at the gym. I did not want to. And what started working for us was when we came to Chiang Mai and discovered, discovered CrossFit. Well, we discovered CrossFit at an affordable price. So basically it came down to the accountability aspect. Having a dedicated time that we have to go every day. Okay, we have to go at 5 p.m. And when we go, everything is done for you. The workout is set, everything is lined up. You don't have to be questioning in your mind what you're gonna do when you get there, when you're gonna show up, and when you're gonna leave. So I guess that's my tip for beginners. Struggling to work out is have some sort of accountability buddy system or join a class. CrossFit is the class that worked for us. If CrossFit is not your thing, although I definitely recommend you try it, it's for beginners. You don't have to be a weightlifter to try CrossFit. That there is what's called high intensity interval training and it's a class it's every day try that and you kind of form a community anyways we weren't always uh, on point about working out but once you get on a roll then you start to really want to do it every day because you feel shitty when you don't aka getting addicted to the gym now we're gonna feel great as we party because we balanced it out we can feel great and drink a lot of beers tonight let's continue away You want to give us the quick uh, MTV Cribs tour? Oh yeah, come on in. All right. So, uh, right here we got some doors. Okay. I'm not sure what we're doing with those, but we can put our suit and shit there. Yeah, yeah, get fitted tonight. Uh, washer dryer. Ooh! Very unique with the dryer. This is very important because, you know, now I can wash my shit and then you can put yours in. It's real quick. Nice. And here we have a nice sound system. Ooh! Ooh. No space. way! We got one bedroom, we got one two bed. Let's I don't go. Know how many we want tonight, but. Let's go. Ooh! Here. Of course, we got a nice uh, flat screen that watch all our new YouTube. No stuff. way! Nice. I think it's smart too, so we can just pop it right off. Oh! And I got a nice uh, jack out here. She can be super hot. Uh, but, yeah. Come out here, get a little sun. Woo! Yeah. Oh! Some blood.
just walked to the nearby mall to get some food. And by the way, I don't know if they have this in other countries. Let me know if they do. But Del Mart is kind of like a Whole Foods. It's got a supermarket. And then upstairs they have what Parker calls the Chipotle of salads. Point out what you want. They chop it up. It's fire. Don't miss it when you come to Prague. But let me know in the comments if they have this in other countries. Del Mart Bistro. Fire! down there. I don't know what he's doing but he's like cold calling basically either doing like a survey or like selling some things, some like cards or something. For those who don't know, I used to do door to door sales. Some people would say it's even harder than this, like waiting people to come to you and approaching strangers. That's basically what I was doing. Knocking door to door, selling Comcast, internet, TV, and phone subscription plans. But I knew when I was doing that, I knew I had to be using online to get leads. I knew that. And so I would like, I created like some Facebook pages. I really was just getting into the online marketing game. Anyway, flash forward four years now, and we have an online store and our products sell overnight 365. So you can call it residual income, you can call it passive income, whatever it is. But if you want to get into sales or business, you have to be using the internet to have your customers find you. So that's the lesson of the day. So hopefully one day he can be making money online without having to stand in the farmer's market to recruit his lead. Hmm. You know, I do need a haircut. <laughs> oh yeah. Feeling fresh. <sighs> Great job, by the way. I recommend everyone hit up American Barber when they come to Prague. Mwah. Such great job. By the way, let me know if you noticed the audio from today. Before salad dinner, it was no microphone at all plugged in. And since salad, I've had a new microphone set up. It's the powered lavalier microphone is plugged in and wrapped around the lens. So if you think the audio has been good this last second half, give this video a thumbs up. If you think it's been not good, give it a thumbs down. We're doing GoPro. I, this is GoPro, no mic plugged in, no nothing, but I love just how it's basically invisible. It's so small. We're gonna nice. try that tonight. It's like nice and raw, raw and uncut, you know? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good at night, it's not the best but we're sacrificing audio. This call is fucking good still. Before it gets too dark, I'll show what the streets look like. This is uh, West Prague or New Prague, whatever. Cool shopping mall over there. Well, a shopping, that regular ass shopping mall over there. Yeah, it's pretty good in low light. What do you think? If you think it's decent in low light, give the video a thumbs up. If you think it sucks dick, give it a thumbs down. You know what time it is, Park? Your time. Oh! Definitely hit beer time at some point during your trip. First beer, I got Matsuka Summer Ale. And Parker got the Zichovic. Zichovic. Mango Sticky Rice. Actually says Mango Sticky Rice. And we had it the other day, that's how we know to come back and try it. But it, like it, too. it actually tastes like Mango Sticky Rice, so. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Parker got the grilled salmon, you little oh, yeah. healthy beast you. Oh, it's it's all good. And um, so literally my grandma texted me on Instagram and said you need to try goulash. So I did it for the vlog and my grandma. Let me know if you knew before this, be honest, what dumplings in Czech Republic were. When we think of dumplings, we think of dumplings. This is bread. It's like a pot roast on a plate. First time trying goulash. Mmm. It's like mama's pot roast. My mom used to cook pot roast at home growing up. Really? Brings me right back. It's just goulash doesn't sound as good as pot roast. Mmm. Mark Green's here. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, 
try to pick around the onions because I'm trying to meet some females tonight and not have onion breath. So here we go with the dumplings. Mm. All right, we just Ubered five minutes to Old Prague, the other side of the river, and we're gonna check it out. All right, that was KU Bar. Nice couple Moscow mules and some shisha. Not a bad place to start the night. Starting at 180 and then 250 per kilo, he said it would be somewhere around 800. So, frog tip number 79 take Uber. This is Fancy Club, which is the one and only hip hop bar that we that we went to the other night. So, we go, we want to go feed us. We go home. After Fancy Pants Hip Hop Bar, we walked across the street to James Dean Bar, which is an American theme bar. That's what that is. And now we are wandering around to the next one. This, but this is party strip for sure. Uh, battery. Only one. Okay, GoPro batteries at one percent. 